Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is April. So today I have several LTOs, which are limited time offerings from Scentsy. We have the Easter collection, the 101 Dalmatians collection, and the St. Patrick's Day collection, which is a new one for Scentsy. So I know you've seen a lot of reviews, first sniffs, warm reviews already, but what it, nobody's really talked about is do you even need to pick up any of these bars or is there something similar in the catalog that you can get? So the Easter collection has three bars. The first is Lemon and Lime Fizz. The second is Strawberry Bliss. And the third is Peach and Grapefruit Mimosa. So let's go ahead and get started with the Lemon Lime Fizz. And I did already warm through an entire bar. So the scent notes are Vanilla Sugar, Fizzy Lemon, and Lime. So this is lovely on cold and on warm. Yes, you get the lemon, you get a little bit of the lime, and I would say it's almost like the zest of the lime and the juice of the lemon. And then the vanilla sugar just adds some extra sweetness to this. So if you are a fan of lemon sorbet, this will be right up your alley. I would honestly say this is like 95% lemon sorbet. I mean, this is the absolute vibe that I was getting. It warms a lot like lemon sorbet. Although I will say that I think lemon sorbet is just a tad bit stronger, um, but this was really nice. I warmed this in my office. It was room filling. It was beautiful. Just this bright, zesty Italian lemon lime soda vibe. Really, really good. But again, it's like, do you need this bar if you like lemon sorbet? You guys, lemon sorbet is coming back in the spring summer catalog. Uh, March 1st. So do we really need this one right now for the Easter collection? I feel like there was this missed opportunity here that, you know, come out with some new fragrances, kind of like, I don't know, I think a, a pie collection would be awesome, like banana cream pie, coconut cream pie, maybe like a key lime pie for an Easter collection or something similar to that if you're going to have like new, new scents. Um, or if you want to go a different route, maybe go back with some like oldie but goodie favorites, kind of like what they did in 2021 when they gave us cotton candy cookie, toasted marshmallow, banana berry. That was a great Easter collection. Since that, you know, we weren't able to get for a long time, but were fan favorites. I don't know, I just kind of think like since he could have kind of went outside the box a little bit with some of these scents. But anyways, lemon lime fizz, it's a great scent. I'm not knocking it at all but it is like so similar to lemon sorbet that for me, I would say, you know, maybe put this one on your skip list just because I don't think you need it. Um, next up we're gonna talk about is Strawberry Bliss. And the set notes are Strawberry Puree, Sweet Jasmine, and Fizzy Champagne. So I had this one going in my master bedroom. Strength was kind of on the light side, I would say maybe a four out of 10. And my master bedroom is not big. I do have an unopened bar right here. And yeah, so you do get like a strawberry puree, but this is not a fresh strawberry scent by any means. It's very much almost like a, okay, you know what this smells like? It smells like strawberry shortcakes, face and hair. If you grew up in the eighties or the seventies, you know what I'm talking about. It smells a lot like that very artificial, maybe, dare I say, slightly plasticky, um, sweet jasmine and fizzy champagne. I'm not getting any fizziness out of this. Yeah, so to me, this reminds me a lot of a worse version of sugared strawberry. Now, I like sugared strawberry, but this one, it's just, a, it's very similar, but more artificial, plasticky, if that makes any sense. So again, it's like, I can get sugared strawberry in the spring summer catalog coming out March 1st. So why, why do we have this one? I feel like, again, a missed opportunity. We could have had an amazing new scent, you know, like a, a yummy pie scent, cookie cake, something bakery, candy, but no, we got this one. So a bit of a dis disappointment. I would say, again, this one might need to go in your skip list. I just don't think you need it. Okay, now next, rounding out the Easter collection bars is Peach and Grapefruit Mimosa. And I do love that name and it is a gorgeous orange colored wax. 
And I actually have this one going in my kitchen right now. And if my voice is a little hoarse, it's because I have tonsillitis. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna do my best to get through this video. Set notes are bright grapefruit, sweet peach, and a dash of vanilla. So yes, you're definitely getting grapefruit in the forefront with this scent. And to me, this is a very sweet, vibrant, juicy grapefruit. I would say it's a red, ruby red kind of a grapefruit. Really, really yummy. Not super astringent like a yellow grapefruit would be, but very bright, juicy, sweet. Yes, and then the peach, I mean, I don't, I personally am not picking up a lot of peach in this, but there is sweetness in the scent, so perhaps that is the peach. Yeah, and then the dash of vanilla. Um, you know, there's added sweetness to the sun, so I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's probably vanilla in here. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite scents out of the collection, only because it is unique. I feel like we don't have anything in the catalog that is similar to the scent. You know, nothing coming up in the spring summer catalog. This is truly a unique scent. I will say, you do need a light grapefruit to enjoy this bar because it is very grapefruit forward. But I like grapefruit, especially like the ruby red kind of grapefruit scents. This is bright, it's cheery. Um, it's a nice scent. Not overly strong, but it's not weak either. I'd say a solid medium. It's doing well in my kitchen. I can walk in and it's filling the space. So I think Sensi did a good job with this scent just because it is unique. Not something that we have in the catalog coming up. So this one, I would say if you are a fan of grapefruit scents, maybe give this one a try. Really nice. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Overall, my thoughts on the Easter collection are just, I'm very underwhelmed. I feel like, you know, again, the missed opportunity of some brand spanking new scents. Let's get some more bakery, you know, going on in our lives. But no, you know, we, we got, things that we can, uh, you know, are about to be able to get in the spring summer catalog. Um, or, you know, come up with some oldie but goodie scents like they did in 2021. Anyways, now let's start off with the next collections. Next up is 101 Dalmatians Top Dog. The scent notes are Sweet Lily, Apple, and Raspberry. And I have two, actually three cubes going in my hall bathroom. And yes, so this is a very clean, crisp, fresh kind of a scent very green in nature. The apple is absolutely a green Granny Smith apple. It's tart. It's a little sweet, very crisp, very refreshing. Um, sweet Lily, to me, it's not really reading a floral note. It's more of like a green vine kind of a scent um, note for me. And I actually do really like that. The raspberry, I don't really get raspberry, but there is some sweetness to the scent. It is also tart at the same time. I would say if you were a fan of apple parsley, which was back in 2021 in the Life's a Garden collection, you might enjoy the scent. It's nice, it's refreshing, it's crisp, it's clean. I don't think we have anything in the catalog that's really similar to this one right now. Nothing that's coming up in the spring summer catalog. So I would say if you liked apple parsley or you like green apple scents with some extra green crisp vininess then you know maybe give this one a try overall I'm a big fan of it I like it um probably not club worthy for me but it's really nice and I might pick up a few more bars so maybe give this one a try if you are into fresh crisp green scents and finally is follow the rainbow so this is from the St. Patrick's Day collection which by the way is a new theme that they've done this year. Uh, scent notes are golden pineapple, sugared berries, and blood orange. So yes, this is a very fruity, a very bright, a very vibrant, juicy scent. Um, what I am getting the most though out of this is the golden pineapple. I'm really not picking up the sugared berries, blood orange. I mean, maybe there's a little tiny bit of a citrus vibe, but really it's that golden pineapple, which really is taking the front seat, the star of the show, and I do really like it. However, I feel like 
pineapple mango, <clears throat> which is coming up in the spring summer catalog, is kind of similar. <clears throat> the pineapple is really what you're smelling. Um, so do you really need to pick this one up? I mean, you know, if you're a very big fruity fan, by all means, give this one a try. But, you know, if you want to wait and get pineapple mango or some of the other fruity scents out of the catalog coming up spring summer 2024 you might want to sit and wait on this one but it is nice again I kind of feel like I don't know maybe we could have had like a shamrock shake kind of a scent for St. Patrick's Day I don't know so thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me so thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me again I'm not saying that this is a bad collection that these scents are bad. It's just, I don't know if you really need them because I feel like there are similar scents coming up in the spring summer catalog. And you know, you might want to save your money and get something a little more unique coming up. And I'm about to live like lemon lime fizz. It's a great scent, but again, so similar to lemon sorbet, strawberry bliss, very similar to sugar strawberry, but I'd say not even as good. Um, yeah, and follow the rainbow. You know, I feel like you can get like that golden pineapple scent in the upcoming spring summer catalog. So the two scents that I would say maybe pick up if you like unique scents would be the peach and grapefruit mimosa, but only if you like grapefruit scents. And then Disney's 101 Dalmatians Top Dog. Just it's a really nice crisp apple green clean, fresh kind of a scent. Really yummy. So I am about to lose my ability to talk because I feel a coughing spell coming on. So thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me and leave a comment below what your opinion is on the Easter collection and some of the new bars, new LTO bars. Um, don't you think they're kind of similar to what we can already get? Wouldn't you like something a little more unique? Thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.